What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And it would appear that Silicon Valley is collapsing with Google today having a massive uh, pay cut, chopping $12 billion amid a, quote, rich session. Um, 12,000 jobs uh, cut. Certainly, that will affect YouTube, I imagine, if there'll be another round of cuts there. Or, um, you know, this this is just a barely... The tip of the iceberg you're talking about in just you know everyone tells you this is the best economy that it's ever been everything's so awesome well amazon laid off eighteen thousand people um obviously google with twelve thousand meta with eleven thousand microsoft with ten thousand salesforce um you know eight thousand hewlett packard six thousand twitter was thirty seven hundred it's actually much bigger than that um well so here's the article the tech wreck sweeping Silicon Valley has wiped out tens of thousands of jobs, paying a combined $12 billion annually, an analysis of recent cuts shows. Google parent, Alpha, uh, Google parent company Alpha, Alpha, Alphabet on Friday became the latest tech giant to announce layoffs. I mean, this is when you're talking about you know, 12,000 roles, uh, but, you know, but $12 billion in pay. You're talking about massive, massive salaries. I mean, just the unfathomable salaries. You know, it's 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 hard to even you know, twelve thousand jobs at twelve billion. You're talking about an average salary of a million dollars per employee. The recent wave of steep cuts has hit highly paid skilled workers the hardest, as companies that soared during the Lockdowns now slash costs to brace for an economic slowdown. Meanwhile, in a reverse, reversal of typical trends of a downturn, blue-collar workers remained in hot demand. Yeah, no kidding. Try getting any contract work done. Uh, leading some of the um, dub the layoffs sweeping skilled roles a rich session or a white-collar recession. At just the seventh largest tech firm, job cuts announced in recent months totaled nearly 70 thousand jobs between Amazon, Alphabet, Meta, Microsoft, Salesforce, HP, and Twitter. And if you look at the median salary, <clears throat> what's interesting is the median salary at Amazon is quite low. It's hard to imagine, like, even the fa even the warehouse workers make pretty good money. My friend works at the warehouse. He's, I think he makes like 26 bucks an hour. Um, so, I, you know, I'm not sure where... Um, you know why they get 29,000 made part-timers using the median salaries reported from these companies and regulatory filings most of which from 2021 daily mail estimates that the combined annual salaries of the job cuts are 11.95 billion dollars wait then why did my math none of these salaries are anywhere near a million if they oh, i guess if they divided it by 70,000 not 12,000 that's probably how they did it. Okay, so that, that makes more sense. So yeah, okay, so 12 billion uh, divided by 70,000 is $171,000 average salary. Okay, that makes more sense. That's in line with this. <clears throat> that figure does not account for the fact that Amazon, which has a large logistics, logistics workforce and a median salary of just 29,000 has primarily targeted higher paying corporate roles in announced cuts of 18,000 workers. It also does not include the many thousands of jobs that have been cut at a smaller tech com at smaller tech companies that are not household names. Tech-driven firms cut more than 150,000 workers last year, according to a recently released analysis from layoffs.fyi, which tracks firings in real time through information gleaned in media and company re releases. <clears throat> However, for laid off tech workers, the news isn't all that bad as data shows most of them are landing new jobs relatively quickly after losing their jobs. Yeah, less pay almost certainly, right? All these like, you know, oh, this is my day at Facebook. I just have a wheat grass thing and then I do that. Those days are gone. 40% previously, 40 of previously laid off tech workers found jobs in less than a month after they began searching ZipRecruiter found in a recent survey. Despite the widespread layoffs, hiring freezes, and cost cuttings taking place in tech, many tech workers are finding reemployment remarkably quickly, Julia Pollack, chief economist of ZipRecorder, told the Wall Street Journal. 
They're still the most sought after workers and the most in demand skills, she argued. However, revising trends from the depths of the lockdowns, blue collar workers are also in hot demand and they've seen their wages rise at a faster pace those of the t- on those of the top earners. By the way, good for them. In November, wages for the bottom quarter of earners was up 7.4% from a year ago, outpacing inflation, while wages for the top quarter just rose rose just 4.8%. Although top earners started off from obviously a much higher base, the trend illustrates the job market has shifted to favor low-income workers who remain sought after by employees. Well, I don't think these people are low-income anymore. Like, uh, to me, I mean, you're making 60 grand, 50, 60 grand, um, to, to work in the, in the distribution centers, that's pretty good living. I know like overtime is not something that like you should, you know, always include, but I mean, there's always endless overtime for them too. So, you know, I have people who work in DCs, you know, that are making 70 or 80 grand a year after two years. I wouldn't call that low income. Um, manufacturing jobs increased by 57,000 a month, while retail trade vacancies rose by 37,000. Meanwhile, job openings dropped 75,000 in finance and insurance, one of the industry's hardest hit by higher borrowing costs and declined 15K in real estate. The technology, finance, and real estate sectors have all been hit hard by the Federal Reserve's rate hike. Well, of course. You know, I, I think that you have, you know, a lot of jobs uh, out there still. But a lot of Americans, at least, you know, they don't want them. And they must be either, I, I don't understand it. Like, um, the, the price for, uh, the, the price for, all of this is is uh, for all of our basic goods. I mean, why do you think the stuff at the grocery store is so expensive? Everybody's getting paid enormous you know, amounts. And yeah, maybe you could argue that th- that it's worth it. I don't want to say that, you know, the people that stock my grocery shelves don't deserve to earn a living, you know. But I mean, that's all part of it. You know, look at what an extra value meal from McDonald's costs these days. Or like one meal from like Culver's is like $12. I mean, that's... Even in my lifetime, I remember I remember when extra value meals were two ninety nine. The very same quarter pounder with cheese was two ninety nine during my life. Um, now it's like six, seven, eight bucks. Um, and it's the same quarter pounder, you know. In recent months, a slew of tech companies have announced cost cutting measures, with Amazon, Apple, Google Parent, Alphabet all announcing hiring slowdowns or freezes. For the tech sector, the pandemic boom turned a post it turned to a post lockdown bust as rising interest rates batter share prices and inflation cuts cuts in the profits. I thought it was only happening to Tesla. You have Meta, Facebook parent said November will cut 13% of its workforce, more than 11,000 workers, and one of the biggest layoffs in tech history as it grapples with weak advertising market and mounting costs. Well, and also you have a CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, who's like totally obsessed with the metaverse and is sink, like single-handedly sinking your customer or your company. Twitter laying off 3,700 people. The cutbacks affect, affected roughly 3,700 employees who learned their fate by email. Well, I feel like the number was more than that because they had all those contract workers that they cut too, but maybe they weren't here in the United States. I don't know. You know, Salesforce in January, cloud-based software company announced it will lay off 10% or 8,000 workers. CEO Mark Binoff cited a rough period for the tech sector as well as overhiring during the lockdown. All these companies thought, like, look at Disney Plus, right? All these companies thought the lockdown money was going to last forever. There's a lot of YouTubers that that did that too. Um, you know, things are, you know, I can tell you YouTube earnings are down significantly, um, at least for me, you know, in terms of the view for view earnings. Uh, and you see more people having to turn to ads. Intel themselves, you know, told Reuters that people's actions will be part of cost reduction. People actions, which is a, a corporate word for layoffs, will be part of cost reduction plan. The chipmaker recently said it would reduce costs by three billion in 2023, then ramping that up to 10 billion in 2025. That those are major lay, layoffs coming up. Your biggest expense in most of these businesses is the workforce. Microsoft with 10,000. You know, these companies are going to continue to lay off more workers too. Lyft, 13% of their workforce. Who uses Lyft? I guess if you live in the city, it's a different option. I, every driver I ever see, every Uber driver I ever see, 
That was all, all of them, Uber, Lyft, and what's the other one? Um, you know, I, you know, obviously like Apple too, uh, you are talking about, you know, how many freaking iPads are people going to buy for $800? How many iPads, how many new iPads do you need? So it's, it's, uh, I think it's going to get worse in 2023, a lot worse for a lot of these bloated tech companies that were just wasting money over the past five years. Look at Ubisoft too. They're, they're, they're cutting employees too. video game industry. It's everywhere in tech. And uh, it's because that, you know, they got too fat and they pissed away their money and, and they didn't run lean, which is how they got there in the first place. And now they're cutting everybody. So, you know, it's, it's not surprising to me at all. And I guess, you know, you tell me about Google or Facebook struggling. I'm not really going to care that much. The individuals that get laid off, that sucks. But as for, you know, caring about the company, I couldn't care less. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it and we'll talk to you again real soon.